Well, hello, guys. Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. It is going to be trolling Mark Holmes and the Dallas Cowboys because y'all suck your ass. We told you you were going to be one and done. Well, Jerry Jones, one Jerry Jones is not happy. Jerry Jones, who earlier this week somebody asked him, is it Super Bowl or bust? Well, we're the bust. We have busted, okay? We are thus far the only home team to lose in the first round of the playoffs. You saw the uh, Tampa Bay blow people out. You saw Buffalo blow people out. And here you saw the Dallas Cowboys basically shit all over themselves. That's exactly what we did. We literally shit all over ourselves. And so the question is with Jerry Jones saying that it's Super Bowl or bust. Well, Jerry, we busted. So what does that mean? So this was Jerry immediately after the game. So let's play this clip. Meters and whatnot. Well, I think this is a time that uh, when you get this combination of players together, you need to uh, have success because we all know how it goes in the NFL. The whole thing is set up to take away from the best and add to the ones that need improvement. And personnel-wise, I think we have one of the best. When was the last? Let's play that again. Listen to meters and whatnot. Well, I think this is a time that uh, when you get this combination of players together, you need to uh, have success because we all know how it goes in the NFL. The whole thing is set up to take away from the best and add to the ones that need improvement. And personnel-wise, I think we have one of the best. When was the last? Yeah, so here's the thing. When you have that kind of combination of players, you need to have success. And um, this is Jerry Jones basically saying it's the worst loss that he can he can remember in recent memory. That this is this is painful, and it should be because you look at this and you've got two guys that are defensive players of the year candidate. One will be the rookie defensive player of the year. You got a guy who. Tied the Dallas Cowboys all-time season record in interceptions. You had a defense that went literally from 29th to 7th. Number one in taking away the football. You had the number one scoring offense. Number one in yardage. You had the quarterback who threw for more yards than any other quarterback ever in the history of the Dallas Cowboys. So you look at this on paper and say, this is a good team. And here it is, you lost to a wild card non-division winner at home in gut-wrenching form. Th this is bad. This is truly bad. I mean, this is this is about as awful as it gets. Jerry Jones declined to discuss Mike McCarthy's job status. He declined to say, Mike McCarthy is my guy. There were rumors going around before this game that Mike McCarthy is playing for his job. I did a video before the game and said, is this Custard's last stand? Because if they lose here, if you lose in the wild card round at home, this, this is like the Giants coming in and beating us on the way to the Super Bowl. It sucks. You, you, you literally have now got to have the all off season, this taste of being a disappointment, being the only wild card team division winner <coughs> to lose at home. <coughs> Forgive me. I've lost my voice from the live stream. And so now let, let me read the quote. After the game, Jerry Jones told reporters he can't remember the last time he was that, this disappointed. The Cowboys who finished the regular season on the NFC East with a 12-5 record would expect to at least get past the wild card. When you get this combination of pe players together, you have to have success. So we're looking at Mike McCarthy getting the ax. I, I think this is I, – I don't know how you recover from this. Um – 
And the question becomes is, you know, because a lot of times, <laughs> a lot of times you hold on to coaches for too long. Sometimes you don't hold on to them for long enough. I can look at us and say that with Jason Garrett, we held on to him for too long. With Dan Quinn, I can look at that and say Atlanta didn't hold on to him long enough, and now he's changed the narrative. And I think that Dan Quinn is the new guy that Jerry Jones is infatuated with and that Dan Quinn will become our head coach. Uh, That's just me. You can call me an idiot. You can say I'm trolling or, you know, I'm not professional, whatever. But he is held in a high regard. And here's the thing that when Dan Quinn, from the moment Dan Quinn was brought in, Dan Quinn was given autonomy to fix the defense. He was given full latitude to get the kind of players that he wanted. And I think that Jerry Jones, having that trust in things right there, may look at this and say, Dan Quinn's a better coach than Mike McCarthy is right now. I just think that. And I think that Jerry Jones is going to want his pound of flesh and basically saying, I've never been this disappointed before. You know what? I'm disgusted right now. I I don't even know what to say. I I was talking to Miss Jackie who was at the game. She said, you know, I'm getting trolled by 49er plans all the way to her car. And she is disgusted. She has cried out. She's sick to her stomach. You know, some of us live and die with the Dallas Cowboys. I talk about them constantly every single day. And we deserve better than what we get, guys. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's Jerry Jones's karma, you know, where he's pissed off Roger Goodell or the football gods because of what happened to Jimmy Johnson and Tom Landry. But something has got to change on this, man. I, I'm not ready to go through a whole off season with this bad taste in my mouth again where the Cowboys, that great regular season team, that just can't win when it counts. Today is the anniversary of the Dallas Cowboys' first Super Bowl win. I was a little boy, a little kid. Didn't really know what it was. All I know was my dad was so excited about his team winning it all. It seems like those Super Bowls' wins were so long ago. It's almost getting to the point where you feel like, did they really happen? I just don't know where to go from here, guys. I just don't know where to go. But um, I'm not the only one that's doing some soul searching here. I think Jerry Jones is having some major discussions wherever he may be right now. And it may be over a bottle of whiskey. I don't think he's going to 7-Eleven for a drink this time. I think he's going for the good stuff. I'm Mark Holmes, and well... I am truly sick to my stomach. I think I'm at the point where I'm just going to take my drunk ass to bed because I just don't know where to go.